How is it going, beautiful people? This is Ruben. Welcome back to another episode of the Sri Lankan series. Today we're in the city of Nwara Elija, which is also known as Little England. It is definitely called Lada because of this chilly weather and the colonial stars bungalows that there are around the city. Apart from the insane amount of tea plantations that there are around the city in this area, there are multiple things that you can see on the city. Today we're gonna walk through some of them. And I feel like I want to also break a little bit the bank because I wanna eat in some of the coolest places there in the city. Shall we start exploring? La la, feels like the weather is getting a little finchy again. No. This is actually quite of a big city and it's not still like big enough like to not being able to walk it if you want to have just a full day on the road and it's, if you manage to have a day with no rain you're actually going to have a very good time because it's so green the temperature here is a little bit lower than on the on the other regions so it's actually quite nice to be able to wear a jacket here and there though you can see over here right now like you're having a normal walk everywhere hello my friend you're having a normal walk everywhere you have green mountains and the closer that we're getting into the city over there right the moment you're gonna see little by little why this is called Little England. Sorry, sorry, I'm a little bit tired, but I woke up a little bit earlier today than usual. Went for a run and then I decided to go filming on the waterfalls. So yeah, I am not on my prime on uh, physical condition right now. All right, so we just went through many security spots, guys, and we just finally made it to Victoria Park. Tickets cost 400 rupiah, which is a little bit over $1. Look at my hand, I fell to the floor uh, when I was a camera. <laughs> Hello. This being on the pure middle of the city feels like one of the most fantastic ideas to have. If you come with friends, with family, if you just want to have like a little walk over here, it feels like a wonderful place to sit down and spend some time. There's a lot of people walking by and it's actually quite exciting to see that there are also tourists. When I was in Weligama, people told me that there was not too many people uh, when you come to the center of the country, but apparently there's quite a few. And it's actually quite nice to see tourists also walking around and starting to come back to Sri Lanka. Look how vast this is, guys. Wow. The Nanu Oya River passes this park. So like if you see like a small uh, river flows or small ponds, they're actually coming from the mountain. Ooh, I can see loads of people over there. <laughs> so cozy. This is actually very well maintained and it looks fantastic. Kind of one in the afternoon, so I assume people is actually or working or in a school. There's a lot of people with uniforms, so I would assume this is like a school as well, hanging out. Nice. Well, we're living this area and I feel like it's about time for me to have a little uh, snack with food because I'm a little bit hungry. And I, and I believe that now that we're leaving the park, we just arrived to the main bus station. I came from Nanuoya the other day, so I remember walking a little bit in this direction. And I remember seeing a couple of restaurants that looked incredible. So I might just pop in today. I earn it, right? Like I work a lot. I work out in the morning, I edit some videos, I went to do a big hike, I came back home, get ready again. I feel like I've earned myself some good food, innit? By the way, this city has the absolute coolest flipping uh, post office I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. Wow, guys, tell me that is not ideal, the image that we have right now of, wow. Guys, the forest and the mountain behind, the big statue over here. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It is definitely a place that I can stay for a few days. Yes. I lived in London for three years, and before that, I lived in Ireland, in Cork. And I have to admit that this definitely, definitely, definitely looks like England and Ireland. Office of the Superintendent Police. <laughs> We're basically in the middle of the city. We are walking to another part that's a little bit more touristic next to a golf court. That there's a golf court in the middle of the city. Who are you? Peter Kibacha. Hola. Hola. Kibacha, Kibacha, Kibacha. Kibacha, Mama, Mama. Oh, you are the cutest. You are the cutest little. In UK. In UK. Okay. Yeah, so I actually had a tea the other day over here and it was 
very 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 nice guys we just make it to the grand hotel <laughs> this is probably one of the biggest hotels i've seen in my life i have to tell you guys even if you don't want to do anything like having a little walk inside is so beautiful um, they, they have, have like a tea museum they have like beautiful installation the outdoors are so gorgeous so i think i'm gonna have a coffee over here before we head to the next spot like be for real look at this what <laughs> Oh, this is so beautiful. The real reason why I'm coming to this place right now is because I know the internet was very good, so I'm trying to get a coffee to upload a video. But shh. No, it's perfect. Uh, no, I think it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Okay, do you have any coffee or something? Do you order? Uh, not for now, later on. Later. Thank you so much. Yes. Fire good organ, guys. Mm. I won't lie to you. I had a better, had a worse. It's an okay pizza. That's the price to pay to have an okay internet in the city. Yeah, the internet fell off, so I couldn't fully post the video. So I'm gonna have to continue walking on the streets until we find another place where we can have a good coffee place. And in the meanwhile, let's continue exploring the city, right? Because so far, I really like it. Behind this Buddhist temple, we have the race court. In inside, you have like a football pitch, and there's a lot of people always playing cricket. Plus, you have like the horse trail. Like, if you ever want to get the horse, just go jumping into it. This feels kind of a fancy city, guys. One of the things that you notice almost everywhere as well is that you have loads of playgrounds for kids. Some of them look nicer, some of them look worse. But, but it's actually quite nice that you see playgrounds everywhere. We seem to have made it to a market right now. Maybe we're gonna try to grab some fruit for tonight so I don't have to actually cook too much. Let me see what we get. Hello, how are you going? Yes. Oh, can I get some fruit, please? What do you want? Uh, we would like to have uh, some uh, mango, orange. How expensive are do you have the mango? Now? Mango? How, how expensive it is per kilo? A bag. Kilo five hundred. It's a long time I have a watermelon. Uh, I don't know, man. How much? How heavy is that? Four hundred rupees. That's one hundred rupees. Yeah. That's one. Yeah. one of these one and two apples, please. Oh, I'm so excited! This one? Yes, please. What? And one apple. All right. There you go, my friend. Thank you so much. You have a good day, guys. So. All right. Well, I got my watermelon for the way, and I got another apple just in case I'm a little bit hungry. But we got what we wanted. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I reckon tomorrow I'm gonna go do some shopping because I need to buy some new shoes, some stuff like hiking in these mountains is actually every time that I go hiking something breaks or my shoes or my pants or something today I fell and I have everything full of full of scratches <laughs> it's ridiculous, this definitely doesn't look like a Sri Lanka <laughs> and we're gonna head directly to one place that I know has a good coffee I'm gonna try to, uh, hopefully they have like good Wi-Fi and we can fix the uploading the video situation. Otherwise, there's no video for you tonight, guys. <laughs> I can't find more words to tell you how beautiful this is. I gotta tell you, I came to this restaurant yesterday because it's very close to my hotel. The dude is a legend. It was absolutely the best burger I have had so far in Sri Lanka and the coffee let's hope the wi-fi let's hope for the wi-fi let's hope for the wi-fi you miss me yeah hey how's yeah. it going brother <laughs> how are you very good and you man you are alone yeah, my friend's left. I'm staying here for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dixie. Thank you, bro. Can I ask you for some coffee? Yeah. Do you do you have Wi-Fi? Yes. Oh, thank you so much. I really need the Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, I'm 
Well, there is no good upload speed anywhere. I'm gonna have to use the, the data from the phone. And I think I'm gonna cut off the video here, guys.